Hi everyone. I was going to say welcome to Santa's workshop, but it's better to call it Tahir's Caravan Sarai Story Workshop. I am here all alone on my friend's lake, in a little lake house, which I've turned into my assembly line workshop, grotto, laboratory to make up these books. And this is a project that has you know, it's taken a lot of my time and energy over the last, gosh, what is it, 10 months now, when I came up with this idea to write eight books, inspired loosely by my grandfather's small little first work, Eastern Moonbeams, which he published 103 years ago. Back then, when I had the idea, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of fumbling in the dark and I knew, all I knew was that if I kept going, the road, the path would reveal itself. And that has happened. And it's been a zigzagging path, unlike any other, in which I have had the steepest learning curve experience of my life. And I wrote somewhere once that a life without steep learning curves is no life at all. And that has never been truer than on this adventurous project. You know, if I'm ever put in the ground, having, I don't know, dropped dead, I would want on my tombstone the mantra, there is no life without steep learning curves. And that, as I say, has never been truer than on this project. When I started, I just had this idea that I would write eight stories and they would be illustrated and they'd be beautiful and fabulous and they'd be printed in a very limited number, 125 copies of each, and they would be presented to subscribers of the project. Back then, I hadn't, I hadn't taken into account human failings both my own and, more importantly, those of others I was relying on. And I don't want to diss anyone, but um, all, kinds of, all kinds of people I had relied on didn't come through. Especially, sadly, the artist, who I just thought was so wonderful. She, uh, this was an artist in Romania that I found. She illustrated one of the stories and another that I didn't use in the end. Um, but she illustrated one called Gould Brothers, which I, I love her illustrations, but I ended up finding illustrations, um, lithographs for the others, which are tantalizing, and I'm so thrilled with them. And most recently, um, what had let me down was Brexit, because I sent by UPS 16 boxes of the printed pages from England over here to Belgium. Um, assuming they would just come under the radar like everything else I've sent has. But they were impounded for six weeks. And when they turned up four days ago, the pages, they looked like, I, I, I've chucked the boxes out now, but it looked like a team of bears had been dancing pirouettes on them for six weeks, which maybe is what had happened. So the good news is the pages are almost all assembled. Or they are all assembled, because I've been working at it. Originally, I should say, that my sister Safia, as I had publicised, lent me her amazing team in bootmakers at a workshop in Wincanton in England. And they, they valiantly bound um, the first batches of the stories using a concertina format like this, which I do love and I champion and I realize at the same time why nobody uses concertina bindings because it is so incredibly labor intensive and more importantly the tape that you use tends to come unstuck in humidity as in uh, this summer which has been humid. But what I want to explain is some people very kindly ordered one copy of a single copy of one story. And anyone who ordered one copy of a single story will get 
one of the, almost certainly get one of the concertina bound. You can see that's even sticking. Um, one of the concertina bound editions. Everyone else will get a ribbon bound edition, which I myself, and I'm going to post uh, time lapses, I myself have bound. And as I thought about it, and believe me, I have had time to think about this, there is surely nothing quite so sublime as a project like this. This one is Mellified Man, for example, which has been written and edited and had the pictures sourced by the author, all by the author and bound by the author as well. And put in the envelope by the author and um, checked on over by the author. I should also say, if anyone finds, I know there are a couple of glitches where I've suddenly realized there's two back covers or something like that. If anyone finds one of those, you're welcome to complain to me, but you're equally welcome to celebrate it and, um, and regard it as a special, uh, especially valuable version and edition. So see how they go. Here are, here are a couple of them. This one is, as I say, the concertina. This one is um, uh, one of the ribbon bound ones. And I'm presenting them in these envelopes with, um, I think it's called string and washer. And then if you've ordered eight or four, you'll get, oh, these are two sets of four. So you'll get them like this, with a little note from me. And I, I, again, I want to thank everybody for waiting. This has been a long journey. And as I said in a previous message, I actually ended up writing dozens of stories and only using the ones that I thought were perfect for this project. So rather like feel that I'm almost like a weaver who made miles and miles of, you know, silk and then only chose the pieces of silk, the best obviously, but the pieces which had the right patterns and consistency for the project. I hope you enjoy the stories and I hope they touch you in a way that they touch me as they were coming out of me. I loved writing them and I don't know which is my favorite. I think there's one in particular called Wellspring that I loved. It's a bit shorter than the others, but all of them. Um, I've got them all here. This one's called Hourglass, uh, Mellified Man. This one is Ghoul Brothers. This is Gin Law. Oops, and if I stretch, oops. This is Gin's Treasure. And that is Skeleton Island. And I may have missed one. But again, please enjoy them. Let me know if you did enjoy them. If you didn't, uh, maybe let me know as well, but in a in a less harsh, in a in a quiet voice. <laughs> and I'm hoping to do a lot more of these because I've now learned the best system. I've, I've got the, I know it looks like chaos here and it is, but I've got the system down to a T now. So again, thank you so much for, um, you know, supporting my Kickstarter, the Caravanserai stories, and for allowing me to dive into the pool of raw imagination.